Located in the northernmost reaches of Quebec is the Inuit territory of Nunavik, a unique place where Inuit culture is strong. But like many remote regions, they lack for services. Flying over a thousand kilometers to Montreal is often the only option for help. But allegations are they are not getting what they need from a youth agency there. Can we talk about the, uh, you know, children that are not allowed to talk to their parents in front of a social worker in Inuktitut? Can we talk about the social workers that have these derogatory comments that they talk to our workers about Indigenous people? Can we talk about these issues first? Because that's a problem. Nagusat is the executive director of the Native Women's Shelter of Montreal. She says after eight years of trying, she is done trying to talk to the youth protection agency that works with Indigenous children in Canada's second largest city. What's most unfortunate is that if you don't actually put a request in, to the Human Rights Commission that nothing gets resolved, nothing happens. The shelter has teamed up with the Center for Research Action on Race Relations, a civil rights advocacy group, to request an inquiry into Batshaw Youth and Family Services. Specifically, they want the Quebec Human Rights Commission to look at the Batshaw's lack of services for Indigenous kids in care, as well as their hiring practices. Currently, there's only one social worker within Batshaw that is Indigenous. But Batshaw says they've been trying for over a year. At the moment, we have two open positions for Indigenous workers, and there have not been any applicants for the positions. How Batshaw serves as Indigenous clientele has been subject to other criticism. Following accusations that Inuit in care were not being allowed to speak in Nuktatut, a Quebec Human Rights Commission investigation concluded that Inuit youth in Montreal were being denied their right to cultural preservation. The commission recommended that the right of Inuit youth to freely speak their mother tongue be reaffirmed and that this right be clearly written into the codes of conduct. Batshaw says that youth are only asked to refrain from speaking in Luktatut under very specific circumstances. We allow the children to speak in their uh, native tongue. Uh, the only time that we would ask them not to is when it's flagged to us that their safety might be at risk. Batshaw did receive a vote of confidence recently from Makovic, the organization that represents Inuit from Quebec. In this press release, Makovic says that discussions are underway to improve the situation for Nunavik youth who are under the care of the center. But the Native Women's Shelter says Batshaw has had more than enough time to address issues that have been raised in multiple studies and reports. They have the solutions because we've given it to them already. And it's just a lack of will or I don't know, ego, I don't know what it is, uh, because it's beyond us. I would disagree that nothing has been done. A lot of things have been implemented. Um, you know, let's not forget we've been in a pandemic for 18 months. The response for the request for inquiry is expected in the coming weeks. Tom Fenario, APTN National News, Montreal.